Hey, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I do a lot of videos about throttling and surfaces, and um, you may be like, why is this guy doing another video? Anyways, I stumbled upon something very, very cool. And um, I have to put a major disclaimer on this, but I found a way that you can override the power limit throttling on the Surface Pro 2017 which means we saw, we saw in, in my throttling test that stock, when you're not using any fans or anything, it would throttle down to about 16 watts of power, which means it's reducing your clock speeds, it's reducing your GPU um, down to that 16 watt limit. So it, it really hinders performance, um, but it does that to keep the device cool so you can hold it and it doesn't burn your hands. Um, and I found with the fan, you could, you could maintain close to 25 watts of power. Um, but I have kind of been playing around with the settings and I found a way for you to unlock the device to have 35 full watts of gaming power on that i7 processor with Iris graphics. And uh, super disclaimer, you do not want to do this unless you have additional cooling on your device. Um, it does not override thermal throttling. If it gets too hot, it will shut down um, the clocks if it gets too hot on the uh, CPU itself. So, I mean, it's not completely out of control, um, but it's this is very different than the Surface Pro 4. The Surface Pro 4, no matter what you set that, that uh, short burst max in Intel XTU, it, would, it wouldn't care but the new Surface Pro 2017 seems to allow you to set that and override any of the throttling that's happening as a result of the temperature of the chassis on this device. So major disclaimer, don't try this unless you are keeping a close eye on things or have uh, you know, a USB fan in there that's keeping things cool. If you do that, you should be okay. Um, and I really don't think you could hurt too much, but it is operating kind of outside of spec, so I just have to put that disclaimer. But I'm going to show you um, a run stock, and then I'm going to show you a run with everything unlocked and show you how to do that. So let's get started. I'm using my go-to benchmark, which is just Tomb Raider, which goes in a loop, and you can see uh, how fast uh, things run at the stock speeds and then at the fully unlocked uh, Surface Pro 2017 speeds. It's pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we are at stock settings on everything. Um, I have Intel XTU open up in the background so you can kind of see what's going on. I just barely opened the game and we're going to run the benchmark to kind of get some sort of um, reference on what this machine can do. You can see the package TDPs up at 30 watts, it's because we just opened the game, and then that will kind of bump down to 25 watts as things keep going. Um, and then eventually as heat soak kind of happens a little bit and the chassis temperature kicks in, it, uh, it will drop down to about 16 watts. I don't have the fan on here or anything, but let's go ahead and run that benchmark and uh, see, see what things look like. And there we go. Stock settings, no fan, everything kind of winds down to a, not a halt, but <laughs> it, you've got about 16 watts of power to work with as it goes through this benchmark. And what we'll do is once this benchmark finishes, we'll get a baseline figure, and then I will show you how to completely unlock the power of this device, <laughs> and, um, and we'll get a new benchmark using the uh, the TDP unlock. So uh, 36 frames per second average. So let's put that up there 
uh, for reference and I'm gonna show you what you need to do to unlock this thing first things first put a fan on this thing um, don't try to do this without a fan you will overheat your device uh, so big disclaimer there so I'm gonna run that there and now let's go into Intel XTU and I'm gonna show you how you can open up the TDP so we're gonna go to all controls and it's gonna say hey don't touch this stuff unless you know what you're doing or are willing to accept some level of risk good advice so this is all stock and you can see what this thing is configured to so we've got a turbo boost short power max and that's at 35 watts we were um, this value is at 35 and I'm gonna also allow the turbo boost power max to be at 35 watts so let's go ahead and apply that and see what happens so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Tomb Raider and run that benchmark again and what you're gonna see is this package TDP is gonna be able to uh, stay at that 35 watt value So you can see, instead of dropping down to 16 watts, it's allowing us to use 31, 32 watts, which is pretty cool. Because before, even with the fan, we were limited to 25, um, and now we're able to get up to 32 watts. One thing we might find is, is the package temperature is really going to climb now that the TDP is opened up. So um, even with this fan, it there we go, 45 frames a second. So we went from 36 frames a second to 45 frames a second. We're able to use 31 watts of power, 31, 32 watts of power, rather than the 25 that we saw before. So that's pretty cool. So anyways... If you're looking to do a lot of gaming on this device and you're able to uh, provide additional cooling, you can literally unlock the power of, of this device up to 32 watts, where before you were stuck at 16, and even with cooling 25, now you're able to unlock 32 watts of power. So um, this, this does translate directly into performance. So it's pretty crazy to see that the Surface Pro 2017A that they are allowing it to do this because you couldn't do this on the SP4 in, at least in my testing um, and you know it could it could happen that they come out with a BIOS update that that overrides this but um, if you want to unlock the power of your Surface Pro and you are willing to bank on that additional cooling there uh, this is a great way to do that and it really boosts performance and you can see it, eventually this may get to a temperature where it's going to throttle back based on thermal throttling but it seems like with that fan it's able to let it sustain 31 <laughs> 32 watts of power so a uh, pretty cool um, hack and if and if you're looking to uh, do this with your device now just use caution but you can get a ton of extra performance out of out of this machine okay so now just just to prove my point of how much performance we're gaining here I'm gonna go ahead and try to break some world records here so uh, Compute benchmark on Geekbench 4. I'm going to go ahead and run that on the Iris Plus Graphics 640. Okay, so we got a score of 3399. Check it out. Here's the Iris Plus Graphics 640, 28938. 
So we just bested the Geekbench. Um, the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and run Anantech posted a bunch of scores for the Pro i7 uh, under uh, Firestrike and Skydiver. Uh, let's go ahead and run those. Okay, we've got our score there. Okay, so our score, 6299, Anantech score, 5606. So we beat out the Surface Book on their result. And let's go ahead and check out CloudGate. Okay, so here's our result, 88.96, and we'll compare that to Anantech's score. Their score was 82.21. So once again, besting out all of the benchmarks. And I just want to show you here on uh, the XTU what, what you can see here. What you can see is when the benchmarks are running, it's able to sustain... 30 watts every time it's it's hitting with intensity one of the best things about this is is you can those those benchmarks are are kind of quick they happen uh, the CPU has time to cool off between uh, little breaks in the test so it gives it a chance for it to recover thermally um, which isn't necessarily proving my point uh, what really proves my point is uh, when you run a game sustained for long periods of time. And um, so if, if, we were, if we were actually to run that Tomb Raider benchmark and just let it sit there, uh, let's see how long we can sustain uh, 32 watts for. Let's just go set ahead and, and try that out. Okay, so I, I'm thinking that's run long enough, but takeaway is, check it out, you can sustain 30 watts of power on the Surface Pro 2017 i7 device. Use those tweaks, you can unlock this thing completely, and uh, really blow the lid off of performance. So, uh, thanks for watching, subscribe if you like this, uh, go ahead and leave a comment, and uh, thanks for watching.